plant seeds uh, deep in the ground where there was enough moisture to allow them to germinate. What does germinate mean? Oh, bloom, like mean, getting water. Where's my agriculture people? Josh, talk to me.
Because you could say, well, that's definitely my 160 acres of land. But then the guy who lives down the road and say, well, I, I definitely thought that was my 160 acres. And so they begin to have something called range wars. And the farmers moved on to the plains they had to find and enclose the fields. And as sheep ranchers moved in, they needed access to water and pasture. So there had to be some agreements worked out with hey, you know, during these months, can you grow this crop? And during the spring, can you let my sheep or my cattle come in and they'll basically, you know, cut the grass for you? You know, they had to work out agreements and different things like that. Both groups were in conflict with cattle ranchers who depended on open ranges to graze and move their herds. And so where was that main train line? Where did that main train line come through? Did it, was it down here in the bottom part of the country? Oh, the Great Old East. It went straight through. This transcontinental railroad from Missouri to California. And so it was pretty much right in the middle. So if you wanted to trade cattle, if you were trying to sell beef, how did you like move that around? Do what? You had to get them on the railroad somehow. Well, unless you had like a direct line to the transcontinental railroads where you live, you had to do what with those cattle? Walk yourself. You had to move them. You had to walk them yourself. So that's where like those, those range trips. So cattle hauls, different things like that. You had to basically move cattle. And that caused a problem. Because when people started putting up fences to protect their lands, that changed the direction of how they had to go through with all those cattle to get them to the railroad. And so a steady conflict, and what should we do? How should we handle this? So it was sometimes brief, but violent range wars were common. <coughs> and then the muscle of the Midwest. The muscle of the Midwest is barbed wire. That'll stop them. Uh, it's basically just several long pieces of either, you know, <laughs> copper, coal, all different kinds of stuff. They use um, iron wire, and it's just strung together. And there's certain points where you clip it and, like, twist the ends, and you wrap it again and roll down to the next one. Wrap it again. It's, it's a lot easier to make by machine, but it can be done by hand. Um, it was invented by Joseph Gladden uh, in 1874. Uh, and it allowed huge areas of land to be fenced off cheaply and easily. It also allowed farmers and sheep ranchers to fence in their prairies and shut off, uh, shut down routes like the Cholsom Trail for cattle drivers. And so they were able to protect their lands from these cattle drivers. And last but not least, it forced those cattle ranchers to change their practices, organize, um, define, and enclose ranches. So these are some big changes that were taking place out in the Midwest. And this is all after the Civil War. So this is like from 1865, 66, 67, on through 1874. So you're probably going to hear some of this stuff in American 2, like when you first start the class in American 2, because this is kind of a crossover period from 1870 to 1890. There's going to be some things that we cross over. So we'll talk about some stuff right at the end of this course that you will probably hear again when you get to American 2, right at the very beginning. Does that make sense? Yes? When it says, like, um, <coughs> shut down roots, how did they, shut, did they just close them off with the wire? Or yeah, yeah. So, I mean, the thing with this is, like, the barbed wire was easily movable. Mm -hmm. And so, while you <laughs> could move, move it as, uh, like, ranch owner, like you can go out and you can move which path you want those cattle to go in. 
So if there's a certain place that you did not want them to go, you can put that barbed bar up there. And the cows, they're not going to go. They see a fence, they're like, well, they can go that way. <laughs> Us, we just walk up there, move the fence. You know? Didn't they make lanes about this piece? Well, it, it allowed for certain areas to be clearly marked off. So there was no more, oh, well, I didn't know I couldn't go here. Yeah, you did, because there's a barbed wire fence there. Hello. And so that set into place that tone of different things. So that's where we're going to end today. I'm going to give you guys um, five minutes to organize with the groups, figure out who's going to say what, where you're going to say it, and all that good stuff. Yeah, we got time. Just organize right here. You don't need to go to the You've got to get some so go ahead and get with your groups.
Yeah. I don't do that. I don't want to touch my eyes. Okay, well, I have to not. I'm not. Oh, I'm not. Oh, I'm not. Thank <laughs> you. 